Hi, I'm Nicole. And I'm Jason. And this, this is, is Husband, Husband Tea Torture. Torture. So, welcome back to Husband Tea Torture. Um, I think this is episode 12. I have no idea. I think it's 12. It's just a blur. <laughs> mm. Things have been crazy the last few weeks, but we're hoping to get back on schedule. Um, so, first up is the tea I think Jason will like. And today, that will be the smoked lapsang that I received in the Y2T Tea Club subscription. Um, I'll put a link here. I did kind of a... a overview of the last few months of my subscription with them and the teas that I received if you want to check that out. So this is a traditional smoked lapsang souchong so it is very smoky black tea. And it is kind of cheating in a way because I, I do know for sure that you do like this one. Um, is I used to work at a tea house at Jason um, that was one of the few teas there that he did enjoy. So. I can't remember it at all. But he doesn't have good memory, so... I can smell it. <laughs> it smells like a campfire in there already. Oh, yeah. It's really potent. Yeah. Like when I whipped the bag? Yeah. Like when I was telling her, when I made me smell the bag, it's like you'd like to scratch and stiff with the campfire. It's exactly what it smelled like. And so we're doing fully boiling water. We're going to let it brew for about 30 seconds. Um, it's seven grams that was in the packet, so we're just going to... Go whole hog and brew it all at once. <laughs> Here we go. Mmm, looks like whiskey. Mm. <laughs> it probably tastes like it too. <laughs> Is this new? No. I've never seen that one. We've had it a while. I think so we, many of them. I'm pretty sure we've used this it on is, an episode. <laughs> oh, I could really just smell it over here. Oh, yeah. Like, it's not. But it's also giving me bad vibes. Bad vibes? Yeah. What do you mean, bad vibes? Remember when I bought that? Oh, when you Crown Royal. <laughs> I got like this mesquite, like whiskey, like smoked whiskey, mis like, what is it? It was like a Texas mesquite the, Crown Royal. Crown Royal. And all it tasted like was smoke. It's like they, for they forgot to put the whiskey in the bottle. Yeah, mm. it wasn't good. <laughs> Sorry, Crown Royal, I love you. But it was the first bottle I ever put down the drain. I had to. I just cut it. No, nothing fixed it. We even tried cooking with it. <laughs> Didn't fix it. I mean, it's not a super strong tea. It is a very aromatic tea. And so it's not as strong as it smells. No, no, I don't think it is. Um, but it's also this tea. It really depends on like if it's a traditional Chinese version. It's going to be gentle smoke and just a good quality black tea. If it's one that's like made for like an American market or a Russian market is going to be a bad tea that tastes like burnt rubber tire. <laughs> oh. that's, not, that's not what this one is. No, no, no. Oh. This is a good one. This is a good one. <laughs> it's good. Mm -hmm. Like, it is still a very intense smoky flavor. Mm -hmm. Like, when you said it's more aromatic than what it tastes like, I think it's still fairly strong compared to the, the aromatic. Okay. Like, so if like, you see, like, aromatic here, taste there, mm -hmm. I'm going to, like, aromatic here, taste there. Okay. So it's just me, maybe. Yeah. I know, the smokiness for me almost comes through as the sweetness. See, like, my problem is when I have something that's... See, I'm... Real quick, I don't remember doing this. I don't. <laughs> I don't. Um, I mean, a lot of the times when things come off of like you know, like that, like mesquite or hickory or, or smoked mm -hmm. flavor things when yeah. it comes to like drinks or or food, it's like I feel like like the smoke overpowers. Like I have a hard time getting the full flavor of the tea over the smoke. Okay, and that's what I'm having a hard time doing. I'm not saying it tastes bad. But I feel like the smoke is overpowering the rest No, the of smoke is definitely the dominant taste there. Um, in this case, it's pine smoke. Ready for another round? Sure. Okay. We'll let that brew another 30 seconds, I think. And the tea itself is not super strong. It's the smokiness. It's not, it's not strong at all. Mm-hmm. It's very subtle, when it, like when it comes to its strength. Yeah. But I feel like the smoke is just like a pow. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> but no, the bloopers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
sabe algo de arte. No shaky there. I've had a lot of tea today. We've got the tea shakes. <laughs> it might just be. <laughs> just checking the tea. like four hours of tea Zoom calls today, so I had a lot of tea. Trying to fall. You could have put like iced tea in there or something like this instead of something else. All right, let's go back and drink of this. Okay. Will this open up more? I think so. And the smokiness dissipates too. Like it's not as smoky as it was the first round. A little bit. A little, a little less smoky. Who <laughs> needs these? I only have two of those. I'm surprised you still have two of them, considering how many times you let me hold these things. <laughs> but yeah, now like the sweetness of the tea is coming through a little bit. A little bit more. Mm -hmm. A little bit more. The smoking is definitely toned down. Yeah, like a it's lot. still there. It's still there, but it's I don't feel like it's the dominant mm -hmm. note. It almost does come across as like a like a scot like a like the smokiness you'd get in scotch. Like, you know what I mean? See that's so weird. When I drink scotch, I don't really get much smokiness out of it. Mm -hmm. I don't know what Scotch you're drinking. <laughs> Get me some of that. Mm. <laughs> there it goes. Fred aggressively drinking. <laughs> Always. Every time. Oh, you're filming? Let me drink. Our guinea pigs instantly become thirsty the minute we turn on the camera. I definitely like the second steep better. Mm -hmm. Not saying the first one was bad, but this yeah. one is. Uh, it just it does tone tone down, so it's a little more yeah, balanced. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I do like it though. Good. I had a feeling you would. I know it's going to happen one day, <laughs> where she's going to give me the first tea where I don't like. She thinks I'm going to like it. And it's going to be like, then you got to drink something I know I'm not going to like, and I'm going to hate both of them. Oh, my God. Day. It's going to happen. <laughs> Give it time. I mean, I definitely, I do try to make it one that you would like. Like, I don't purposely seek out, like, for the one that you don't like, I definitely purposely seek out ones you don't like. She's just like, <laughs> how can I ruin his night? Oh, my God. Like, I want him to wake up tomorrow morning still just being like, oh, my God, I can't do that again. <laughs> you know, just... So... We've gotten quite a few requests for this, so at last, Jason is going to try duck shit in I wanted to say it. Aww. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we are drinking the King of Duck Shit Aroma Dance Song Oolong Tea from Yunnan Sourcing. Can't believe something is actually named that. Yes. <laughs> um, no ducks were involved. No but ducks were involved, and no ducks were shitting in the making of this tape. It's a very funny name, so. Um, it's pretty much the same as the other tea. We're going to go with fully boiling water for about 30 seconds. It's just gross. So I'm going to link my blog post up here that I just wrote about this tea. Um, basically, uh, the tea's name is Yashi Shang um, in Chinese, and basically translates as duck shit aroma. Um, and so the story goes that the farmer who invented it or discovered it did not want anyone to steal the tea, um, so he named it something no one would want. <laughs> but just when I hear duck shit, that makes me want to drink that so bad. Oh yeah. No, it <laughs> Nothing does. It's just, it's a floral tea, so that's why I don't think you'll like it. Great. But it's not like, bam. Face, like. It's pinkish. Yeah. That means it's gonna be gross. No. Do you like every tea? Like honestly, Earl Grey is about the only tea that I don't like. Oh, like, man, I'm calling Sir Patrick Stewart. Or like, Chopur is kind of probably my least favorite of the tea teas. So what's so bad about Earl Grey? I just I don't like the flavor of bergamot. It tastes like hot acid to me. I don't like it. <laughs> It doesn't smell good. It doesn't smell good. No. Okay. Mm. <laughs> doesn't smell like it came out of a duck's ass either, but it doesn't. doesn't. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Why? 
Okay. Gross. Took a sip. I don't like it. Okay, but of all the things that you've had, like it's not like. Oh, like. The first couple episodes we did, <laughs> my wife was swinging for the fences. I mean, I, I lost sleep over those episodes. Oh my God. This is not like the worst of the worst. <laughs> it's not good though. It just, it's floral. Does it open up more as you drink it? Mm-hmm. So it's known for having like a honeysuckle kind of taste to it. It's not like it's. Um, <laughs> it's. It's. I, it's, I, it's. Yes, I'm getting the floral. And she knows I hate floral. Um, it's not the worst I've ever had. Okay. It's it's pretty bad, but you know it's. It's just not your thing. It's not my smuckers. Not my jam. <laughs> she hates it when I say that. Because <laughs> it's a dad joke, like. <laughs> I'm trying to see what I don't like about it. I'm like, mm. I'm trying to, like, pinpoint it. Yeah. What? You put more in my cup. But, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I am getting the floral. Mm -hmm. uh, and what do you say? What kind of flower is it? Honeysuckle. I don't know what a honeysuckle tastes like. Kind of do now, but, you know, it's... You ever, like, walk by a honeysuckle bush? No, but I, I'm worried that you just walk around eating flowers. No, it tastes like the flower smells, if that makes sense. I'm just going to drink the tea. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there are people who eat honeysuckle. Like, they'll, like, take the flower and they'll suck out the nectar. Next on my wife's to-do list. I'm going to see her down at the park just... <laughs> <eating> flowers. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to be more bitter. Mm -hmm. It's not as bitter as I thought it was going to be. No, they do have a stringency. Like, there is a little bit of, of that, but it's not like bitter, bitter. Like I said, it's not in the top of. <laughs> Like the bad stuff she's giving me. If she said, "Hey, I'm making duck shit," I'm like, "Would you want some?" No. <laughs> if it was the only thing she had to drink and I was about to die, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we can do another round for science. <laughs> for science. Round number two. It's probably gonna open up so much. It it, it is gonna open up. And it's gonna just ruin my day. Mm. <laughs> oh, you didn't like the oh you thought the first batch was only kinda of bad. Let's make it up. <laughs> Ramp up the yucky meter. Hmm. The yucky meter? The yucky meter. <laughs> Is that the the measure unit of measure for this? It's always a unit of measure for this. <laughs> I said yucky. We've cursed enough on this episode already. <laughs> <laughs> Break the top. Good job. Is how you're supposed to do it? What do you mean? Like, like link the bot underneath like that? Yeah, we got the lid there. Uh, I mean, is there other? Do people do it other ways, or is that how you're supposed Some to? Some people it? leave the lid on. I don't. That's like your thing. Is how you just. Because it it can kind of steam the leaves a little bit if you leave the lid on. So like sometimes it can make more bitterness come out. So that's why I like to leave it off. I don't want to drink this. <laughs> You'll survive. Well, if we never make another episode, <laughs> she's wrong. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Things just went around, too. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, we still hate you. <laughs> It's definitely more astringent. More astringent, okay. It's, I'm getting a little more of that on the on the side of the tongue, mm -hmm. like this, like that dryness feeling on the side of my tongue out of it. When okay. I it. Um, it's definitely more floral now. Mm -hmm. I mean, yucky meter. <laughs> mm, cranking it up. Oh man. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't. <laughs> I mean, there's there's been a couple in the beginning of the series where I was contemplating just getting up and walking away from the table. <laughs> getting ready. Just like, you know, go to the fridge, crack open a beer, sit on the couch, sleep. I'm not doing this anymore. Oh, man. Uh, I'll survive on this one. <laughs> yeah, but it definitely opened up. Mm-hmm. Definitely opened up. It's, it's cool. Hey, hey, it's hey. Cool. It's cool. Come on. Oh, come on. I'm just going to show you a magic trick. You know? <laughs> <laughs> nice try. Mm. It is. Definitely the floral has mm -hmm. ramped up. Yes. It's. Which is. Now I see why she picked this. It's a um, very floral to eat. Extremely floral. It, it, yeah, I got the floral out of the first like uh, steep. Mm -hmm. The second steep was just was like, the, what, did we? Did she steep us like three more times <laughs> without me noticing? It just ramped up so much. Yeah. Um, like I said, I'm getting a little more of the astringency on the side of my tongue. Mm -hmm. That is bothering me less and less. Yeah. As as we've done these, because mm -hmm. at first it's like you know. You get like one of those like red wines, a lot of tannins. Mm -hmm. It really like, like dries out like your, your mouth kind of stuff. And I was never really a big fan of that. But tea doesn't do it to me as much as wine would. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's I'm slowly getting used to just like that. The you can, you probably don't even notice it anymore. I have a very high tolerance for astringency. Well, I mean, look how long you've been drinking tea and stuff like this. Mm -hmm. It's almost second nature to you now. Yes. But um, actually, in a few days. Um, maybe about a week. Uh, the blog will officially be 12 years old, so it's yeah. been a while. <laughs> kind of like my maturity level. <laughs> um. Yeah, so I actually had the blog two years longer, two years before I met you. Shows you how long I've been torturing her for. <laughs> Not torturing. Just mm -hmm. making her a little, you know, cuckoo. Mm. I had a feeling this wouldn't be your jam. Like, dance songs are generally not because they Ooh. are super floral and astringent also. Oh, not even close to being my smuckers. <laughs> right, thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comments if you enjoy duck shit oolong. Um, we'd also love to hear if there's any teas that you want Jason to try on future episodes. And we'll see you guys next time. See you later, guys. You're so smart. Why'd you marry me? <laughs> Alright, ready for the tea you don't like? Nope. <laughs> Am I ever? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> the king of duck shits! <laughs> Hold on while we measure out our dookie. <laughs> <laughs>